Fish time! Stick them! It's huge! Bluefin season is here. Yeah, baby! Woo! And Gloucester's top competitors are back. I can outfish every one of those ding dogs. <laughs> <laughs> to prove who is the greatest of all time. This is the year of the goat. I'm coming to play. <laughs> Who's the goat boat now, baby? Ba -pow! But with limited fishing days. We're only allowed to fish four days a week. And new rivals. Woman versus beast. Captains face their toughest season yet. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. This is the most epic thing you've ever seen in your life. Let's go! The biggest giant tuna ever. Bah. Bah. Isn't that what a goat does, or is that a sheep? On Wicked Tuna. Here we go, baby. We're off. There's no place like Lobster. We're on our way. My name is TJ Ock, and I'm the captain of the Hot Tuna. We won this a few seasons ago, but last year in Gloucester, we struggled. We get into that groove and we do our jobs, we will be that top boat. The government gave us a decent amount of quota, 278 metric tons to work with. We're still limited to one bluefin tuna a day. But this season, they've restricted us to fishing only four days per week. Hopefully, this will keep the market strong, but the downside is that we can't earn a paycheck every day. If you're able to be successful in a season like this, where, you know, a lot of these restrictions are working against you, then you know what? You deserve to be called the GOAT. We just got to get out there and get that first one. It's game on. Uh, let's go get him, Herm. It's starting. My name is Tyler McLaughlin, and I'm the captain of the pinwheel. This season, I got a new boat. It's a tank of a boat. It's going to allow me to handle any sort of weather I ever encounter. So I'm really hoping that it gives me the edge I need to win. This is about being the greatest of all time. When it comes down to being the GOAT, I'm the GOAT. I've won this thing three times. When I'm on, I'm on. This year, I got to watch my expenses. You know, I got boat payments. We got to make it happen. Let's go get it. Returning champs. We're doing it again. Let's go. It's time. The season opens at midnight tonight. I'm Bob Cook, and I'm the captain of Fat Tuna. A little nervous. Fuel prices are through the roof. The economy is pretty bad right now, so we're kind of hurting. So hope to get one day one. And we're getting one. 500 pounder. On the beach! Heading out to the ground to get some fish. We're really excited. My name's Paul Hebert. I am the captain of the Wicked Pessa. Last year was a tough year. This year is all about redemption. We need to make some serious money. First trip of the season, and we're going to land a big, beautiful tuna today. If we can find the bait, we're going to find the fit. I'm Dave Marciano. I'm the captain and owner of the Hard Merchandise. This year, we have restricted fishing days. You take those days off, you lose track of things. I know it's going to throw all those other guys off their game. We've been dealing with regulations for 40 years. We're going to be just fine under this scenario. Well, there's going to be a lot of boats here. Opening day, everybody's chomping at the bit to get out and fish. I'm Dave Carrero. I'm the captain and the owner of the fishing vessel Tuna.com. Ready to get out and get fishing. It's going to be a tough competition this year. We've been a top boat more times than any other boat, so we know we have a target on our back. We're going to have to fish that much harder. Take a sea, cause it don't get better than this. We going to catch one? Oh, yeah, we'll get one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jack Patchkin, captain of the Time Flies. You know, we had a good year last year. We came in second place, $100 behind Fat Tuna. We're going to prove that it wasn't a fluke. You know, we're here to stay. I'm happy, man. I'm happy to be back. Got to get a big one. First fish on the new boat. That was huge. Catching the first fish lets the rest of the fleet know who's coming out firing this year. The first one across the dock usually has the highest price tag. Let's make some money. Come on, big money. We're going to do it this year, huh, Lance? Yeah, it's going to be good, man. So who's the GOAT this year, anyway? Let's get it done. Who's going to be able to thrive under the most highly restricted season we ever had? You're looking at him. Let's get him. Let's get him. I'm good at finding tuna. What a beautiful night. First bait in the water, first rod out, brand new boat. We're going to bend one. We're going to show the fleet what we're made of this season. This new boat's going to be an unbelievable addition to Team Pinwheel. We're going to get them with this thing. It's anybody's guess where to find bluefin this early. 
The entire fleet is spread out across the ocean because nobody really knows where they are, except Pinwheel. Big, beautiful moon like that, that means there's some night feeders out here. Tunas are night feeders. They do a lot of their hunting at night. And when the moon's up in the sky like that, it makes it so that way their visibility's increased and they can hunt more efficiently. This is a spot that produces in the night. Hopefully, there's some tuna here. Wanna go catch the first fish like we did last year, Merm? Well, here we go. Anchors away on the first stop of the season. We're on the grounds. There's some bait around. We're gonna throw a rod out, see what happens. All of us love to be the boat that catches the first fish. That sets a great tone for the rest of the season. Why not start the season out good and get the first bite? First fish of the season is always the biggest money fish. We just want to get that monkey off our back. We want to make sure we start off strong with a fish. How beautiful would it be to get a nice fish today? We have to catch the first one. You know, anyone could catch that first fish right now. It's anyone's game. First day jitters, man. Who's going to get the first fish? I'm excited. We're going to get them. We're going to catch them. We got to catch a tuna. First fish of the year, got to make it happen. We need a fish on this deck today. We're going to hook up here in a couple minutes. We're just getting our lines out. You see all this little bait right here to attract the bigger fish, to attract the bigger fish. We're marking. <laughs> Put one down there and see what we can do. There's a fish, definite one. Wow, there's a lot of bait on the boat right now. Come on, 122 incher. Oh my gosh, look at all the tunas on this green. Probably marked five times since we've been here. There he is on the bottom. There's the mark, right on the bait outside there. We're on the meat. <laughs> got three on the screen at 50 right now. Got a big one on the bottom, too. That's oh. a fish. Here we go, here we go. Hey, we're on. I'm really good at tuna fishing. Ha, ha, ha. You want to talk about the goat? I'll show you who the goat is. You got him on you. Pretty quick bite here. I don't know what it is, though. Nice bite. Merm, come to the yep. rod. What kind of mark do we have? We're on. Woohoo! Going under the boat. Very bad under the boat. Back the drag off. This is huge for us right now. This could be the first bite out of all the boats for the season. We could get the first fish of the season. Woo! We got him on. First hookup on the new boat. Definitely a big fish. Whoa! He just woke up. Woo! <laughs> yes, 100 <laughs> Where are we exactly? Are we heading into the shoal? Hold the hook. Oh, let me get the weight back too here. Uh, just pull the hook. Nothing we can do. You pull the hook. Well, at least we know they're here. We're in a good spot. All right, let's go back and get the anchor. Hold the hook. We're gonna go back, get on the anchor, put out some more bait. So it looks like a good spot. Damn. They're in the area. We'll probably get them soon. Good to know that they're here, though. Good sign. They come through, we're on. First day of fishing, it's still pretty early. And we're off on our own, there's not another boat in sight. Fairly confident we're gonna get a fish here. All we gotta do is wait for that rod to bend. And then we'll get the first fish and show them other guys just what being the goat is all about. We really want to start the season off hot. We're looking to bend the rod, get that one fish. I don't know if you remember, Joe, but last year, to catch tuna. Got to keep something cooking, right? Yeah, you always got to keep something in the skillet. Let's get some eggs. Yeah, there we go. There's one on the screen, boys. Came on the screen at 20, going down. That's where the stick is. Going down to it, Joe. Up, 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 up. There he is. There they are, come on. Is that a real fish? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the first one of the season, guys, come on. He's down line, he's on it. Yeah. All right, things are getting interesting. Now we just gotta get him to bite. As of yet, I haven't heard if anybody 
has caught that first fish of the season, so. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, baby, hooked up. Yeah, buddy, get him. I'll walk it right around. I'll spin the boat while you do yeah. it. Try driving at him a little bit. This control just ain't working like it did. I'm gonna do it from in here. Definitely got a blue fit on here. First trip of the season, still really green. I'm on the line up. Let's get that rubber band off if we can. I can feel the tension on the reel. Can you bump us around for it? Is that not working too? Yeah. Something changed. Okay. Should we unplug that? It's all going to be from up there, guys. Not a big deal. A little technical difficulty. First trip of the season. Two of our controls aren't working. I need a screwdriver, Jeff. What, uh, what's up? What? Can we get a bump forward, straight? Uh, we just got a little technical difficulty. Back in touch. Yep. Got it 200 feet. Yep. Almost got it, Jeff. Good job, bud. Definitely the real one. All right, well, we here we go, boys. Starting off where we left off, on the meat. Well, we got control back here. Yeah, we got control back here now. These tail rats. I believe we've got the first tuner of the season on the line. Now the question is, can we get it on the boat? We just need our luck to hold a little bit longer, and hopefully, we'll be going home with the very first fish of the season, and really show them other guys who the real goats are. Three guys, hey, right under the surface. Outside collar, outside collar. Big fish. Yep, big fish. Good job, Joe. Good job. He's turning, he's turning, he's turning. Swivel's on the tip. Reeling him in. And here he comes. You're good, Jay. You're good. I see him. I see him. Yeah. Good. Good circle. I see him. I see him. One more. One more. One more. He's not hooked. Good. Good. We got him. <laughs> Get the dot out, don't hit somebody. Joe, got it. Yeah. On the deck. Okay. Yeah. I got him. Good. Joe, my left side, Bob up. Left side. Ready? Yeah. Here we go, Joe. Yeah! yeah, yeah. Right, Perfect, yeah. dude. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Let's go! Let's the season. Yeah. yeah, we got one, boys! All right, that's our first fish of the season. And I believe that it's the first fish of the season for the fleet. That's a nice, respectable fish. Well, boys, we're out of here with the first one of the season. Nice work on that first one. Good for you, pal. Congrats. You should get good money for that fish. Mighty proud of my crew. We know who the real goats in this racket are. Whatever. The ice has been broken. Let the games begin. Bring it on, boys. First fish has already been caught. You know, we can always catch the biggest fish. Well, we got work to do. The day's not over. It doesn't get dark till 9. All right, let's get this fish aboard, guys, all right? Here we go, Jay. Uh-oh, I think one of you guys are going to have to change my depends. <laughs> and there we have it. Our first fish of the season on the boat, boys. Oh, yeah. Jay, he's going to be, what, 78, 79 inches, you think, Jay? Yeah, 78. All right, boys, well, well done. I can outfish every one of those ding dogs. I just wish I could see the look on the other guys' faces. What's up, fellas? What's going on, PJ? First one of the season, huh? Now, it's not a monster, but I think it's a pretty nice quality one. Let's have a peek at it, see All what right. we can do for you guys. 
The buyer's looking for good fat content, good color, and a translucent core to determine the price per pound. Up, up, and away, hey! Eh? But the market is hungry for fish that haven't been around in a long time. So I'm a little anxious to find out what the buyer is going to say and what the market is like. Hopefully, this fish will bring big money to set a great tone for the rest of the season. All right, PJ, first fish, what do we got for weight? 272 pounds dressed. Not bad, oh. we, not bad. Let's see what we can get for you. Perfect, let's do it. It's not a sea monster, because the bluefin are just now showing up to feed. As the season progresses, these fish will fatten up. Nice looking fish here for the first one of the season. What can we expect for the market this year? It's tough to say. I mean, you know, it's all supply and demand driven. Domestically, I think the market's going to be pretty good this summer. Yeah. Japan is going to be a little bit of a different story right, just because right, right. it's so expensive to get. The air freight is up, the fuel yeah. is up. Right, right. So what can you do? First fish of the season, let's have it. Pretty decent fish. It's got a little skin fat here, but it could yeah. definitely use more. But the color's nice, core is nice. Being the first fish of the season, I've got a couple customers that are willing to pay for them. So this one here, I'm going to get you $21 a pound. Oh, nice. Hey, Told you. Awesome Thanks, go up, boys. Well done. Keep them coming. Congrats right. on the thank first, first right, fish of the you. season. Yeah. All right, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Sounds Let's good. Do the same thing tomorrow. We'll be here. That first fish in the market always brings the best price. With all these restrictions this season, it's really going to separate the men from the boys. We're going to figure this out just fine, I think. Well, guys, we really put it to those boys. Come on, Tunas. I think we definitely have a shot here. We just got to wait it out. Yeah, no, I know we got a shot here. It's been a slow day so far. It doesn't seem like there's really any hot spot going on right now. So far, Marciano is the only one who caught. But it's important for us to get on the board as soon as possible. We're the only boat that hasn't won before, so we feel we got a lot to prove. We want to show these guys that, you know, we can be right up with the greatest of all time. We're hoping we're going to get lucky here, fishing, uh, you know, close to home on a spot we like. It's a hot spot for bluefin tuna. If we have a good bait in the water long enough, you know, we got a good shot getting a bite. We'll go ahead and put a fresh bait out there. Nice big mackerels. Tasty snack for a giant bluefin. I'm just grabbing them in the net, making sure I can hold them nice and firm. Poke that hook right through his back, but you don't want to get through his spine or else he won't be able to swim like a real fish. And then we're just going to wipe down that leader, and that looks like a good bait to me. You know, maybe that will bring, uh, bring a batch of fish through. Hoping to get on a roll. Man, we want that first fish on the new boat. Come on, come on, tuna gods, hook us up. The first one's always the toughest. Heartbreaking loss last night. We could have had the first fish of the season, but we broke them off. How are the baits doing? He's getting tired. Get a nice mac yep. out of the well here. I got lively max in here, I think. I'm fishing off the coast of Maine because Maine has good waters that holds a lot of bait, and where there's a lot of bait, there's some hungry tunas. This is one of my old honey holes that has paid off for us in the past, so I'm confident the fish are going to show up. Look at this turbo. All right, give me the turbs. I really feel like I can smoke the fleet this year. I just got to get on a roll, find the fish, and hammer them. Who's better than us? No one. Look at all these freaking boats. There's three boats there. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. We're marking them. They're under us. They're here. We're on. We're on? Oh, yeah. That's the right one. Woo! We're on. Bring the line in. Anchor, anchor. Here, I got that, Merm. Get on the rod. Whoa! This fish has got a lot of energy. I got to move the rod. Big hook up on the new boat. Let's make it happen here. Woo! We can get this. We can get one of the first fish caught of the season. Big money on the line. Whoa, head shake. We got a lot of boats back here. And it's not the old boat they're watching fight fish. It's the new one. Woo! Cowabunga, baby. Yeah! We need this one. There he goes. 
he's definitely mad. He knows he's hooked. He's going for a big run. Lobster gear, lobster gear. Oh, no. This fish is still very green. He's got a lot of energy, so he's taking a lot of line. What we're trying to do is we're trying to keep it so we have a short leash on him because there's so much lobster gear. We don't want him to scope way out because then he has a better chance of tangling this lobster gear. If my fish runs and gets tangled around that line, the line's going to break immediately. So we want to try and see if we can't figure out how to catch one with this big boat. All right, Aaron, let's figure out what we're going to do with this fish. We're getting closer to the lobster gear. I know. We're trying to get out, but it's almost like a wall of lobster gear. It won't let us out. There he goes. Right to the lobster gear. This fish knows what he's doing. He's like running for the lobster gear. He's trying to saw himself free. Ah. Wow. It's in the trap. It's in the trap. It's in the line. Oh, no, no! Get that black gaff. Gaff that merm. So many obstacles out here. It's like getting harder to catch these tunas between all the boats, all the gear. See, that's how you take care of gear. Later. OK. That was close. That was close. It's getting cold out here. <laughs> this is a big tuna. This ain't no little slouch of a tuna. Rubber band. Starting to go down. Maybe we can get him into a pinwheel here. Put this in the back of the boat so I can crank easier. He's still mean. He's still ugly. He's a gladiator. Thank you. Trying to close the gap here. I got to get ready. I'm ready. There he is. You got collar. Keep reeling. Look at him like a submarine. Keep reeling. Got him good. Got him good. Get a gaff. Get the gaff ready for me. Woo! First fish of the season. Woo! Yes! Look at that pig. No wonder it was such a crazy fight. We got him. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's good. All right, cool. Nah, I almost don't even want to hear that. Tyler got one. No. No. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Hold him in, Merm. Hold him in. Wow! Oh my God. He's huge! He's huge! This Welcome aboard the pinwheel. Let's measure this thing, Merm. First one aboard, new vessel. Big boy, 112. Woo! Pretty 112. work, Ty. 112. I guess this boat's going to be pretty damn lucky. Wow. We are the goats. You know, you got to start out with a bang. Well, it's great to see you guys again. So what do you got for me? Figured big fish, big payday. All right, let's get him up here. Hope your customers are hungry. <laughs> What's this dress at? 560 pounds dress. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Big first fish. Fantastic. Come on up, let's take it out. Big slab of meat. Look at that. It's got a beautiful red color. I mean, it's totally red. It's got a little bit of fat in there. So let's check out the core, see if that holds up. That is a really beautiful core. Well, we're really stoked about this fish. What do you think you can get us for it? $16 a pound. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. That's a way to kick off the season. Thanks so much, Mary. So stoked. All right. See you soon. You know, this season, it's all about being the best. So we really want to prove that we don't just catch any fish. We go out there and we find the big ones. This is the year of kicking butt. No breaks for us. Wow. I forgot how much I love this. That's what bluefin dreams are made of. Gotta get a bite. 
Let's we'll get a bite here, Jared. Yeah, yeah. Look at the whales. We got whales all over the place. They're jumping out. They're splashing around. Oh, here we wow. go. Boom. They're slapping their tails together. We're marking them already. That's good news. Chicken in the old turbo. <laughs> Walker right now. Oh, dude, this is very fishy gear. I, I, I think I'm going to go off. All right. Yeah. Johnny, it's a whale show there right now. We want to be that top boat. We still need our first blue for the season very, very badly. I took a huge risk coming all this way to Chatham to kick off the season, especially with the high fuel prices and restricted fishing days. Even though we struck out yesterday, I'm confident I made the right choice. The whales are here feasting on an abundance of bait. And where you find whales, you'll find the tuna right there with them. Huge feed going on over here. Got to get a bite here soon. Today's the day. Today's the day. Buddy, get him. It's a screamer! Yeah! Found all the whales, found the life. Sun's coming up. Bent rod, baby. Got him on! Feels like you finally got a real one on here. It's the magic hour. Look at that. Drag going off the reel. Look at that. Look at that. That's what you come here for, right there. Turn around, get a picture of that. Look at the sun coming up. That's awesome. This whale showing and a tuna bite. Most people in the world will never be able to get to see stuff like this. This is Blue Planet, bro. <laughs> It's kind of breathtaking, not gonna lie. I'm very grateful to see all this. Woo! He ain't ready yet, brother. He's close. Yeah. No, he's close. Starting to settle in a little bit, hopefully, maybe. Nothing like being back in Gloucester. Nothing like it. There's something magical about this place up here. Anytime you can pull into the middle of 30 humpbacks and hook right up, swivel. Swivels are the guys that are in the reel, I mean. Right here, my left, my left. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Got him, got him. Where is he? Right here. Right here. I'm going to swivel to my this right. Side. All right, let the rod down. Let the little drag out. Let the rod down. All right, tail rope, bottom right, right side. Right. Right. We go towards Yvonne, one of them, right? All right. Baby, we got him, baby. Ah, nice work, Bobby. Yeah, everybody, man. nice work, everybody. Hell yeah. We got him tied off. Head home. Heck yeah, buddy. TJ got his. It's our turn. Ha <laughs> ha headed in. Awesome. Awesome. Pretty work. One, two, three. Right. Welcome aboard, buddy. You know, first fish of the season, not a sea monster, but he is got the skunk on the boat, right? Yep. Absolutely. Definitely did. Let's measure him up, brother. Beautiful. 79 inches. The Pelicans got him. We're flying west, baby. In a season like this, the cream will rise to the top. I know we have everything it takes to be that goat boat. We know we can go anywhere and compete with anyone. Ba bow Beginning of the season, we got to try. We got to try something. I'm going to just prospect a little bit, see what's where. Go back to one of my old spots here. This is my old char plotter right here. This is from the old boat. It's black and white. But all these dots right here, I'll zoom in. All these dots right here are all fish. Caught fish on every one of those dots. So we'll give it a shot. You can't even read the coordinates on there now. The screen's so bad. All right, let it fly, Jordy. It's day two, and we've only marked a couple fish. 
with one fish per day plus restricted fishing days, it's going to be difficult to catch up once you fall behind. You might have to play a few long shots to get a fish on board. Many, many years ago, I found fish here. One grander, I named it. So we had one here that was over 1,000 pounds. Oh, this is just a throwing a Hail Mary pass here. Hopefully, it pays off. First fish is the hardest. Once you get the first one, you usually keep coming on this boat. Anchor is holding. So I was going to put out a herring. Yes, please. First bait is deployed. Hope for the best. Look, look, look. Oh, wow. That's a nice one. Are we on? Yeah. Woohoo! Stay right on. You got a bite. Wow. I'm going up. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's go forward straight. Yep. Keep going. Come hey, go up sea, up sea. Yep. Now we got the swivel right here. Let's call it. We got him right here. You're close. I know that. Yeah, he's right there. All right. Look decent on the machine. Looks like an OK mark. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Yeah, there's some color there, Sandro. Looks like a keeper. Yeah, I mean, he looks all right. Drop it in him, Sandro. Still coming. Come on. Nice job, guys. Oh, the guy pulled out. Oh, my god. Don't lose him. That pulled. Come on, Jordy. I think he's right there. Yeah, he's right here again. Oh, first fish of the season. Let's get him. Yes, sir. Coming up. Here he is. Nailed him. He's ours. Tough little bastard, huh? I know. I got the gap right here to you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yes, yeah. First one of the year. He's not a slob, but we'll take him. We'll take him. Come in. We're going home. You got him? Yeah. Nice. 110 inch? Yeah. Two of them combined, maybe. <laughs> Is Sando smiling at all? No, it's not big enough. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Seventy-four and a half. We did it! We did it! Oh, the biggest <laughs> giant tuna ever <laughs> on the top. Oh. My little honey hole paid off. No, yeah. th no thousand pounds. It is a little honey hole. Hey, yeah, we'll take it, 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 right? Going home. Glad to get the first one under the belt. Yes, sir. I can't believe I'm this excited over a small fish. Dave. What's happening? Dot com is on the board. Well, let's get him up. See what she looks like. It may not be the biggest fish, but if you want to be the goat this year, you got to do whatever it takes to get on the board. And we did that by going to my old honey hole. What do we got, PJ? 159 pounds dressed. That's We're right. definitely not breaking records. That's all right. <laughs> let's take a look at this. This fish here, guys, it doesn't really have any fat, but the color is, is good on the tail. But it's definitely got a burn to it. It's lactic acid build up in these fish, and the fish actually cooks from the inside out. It's not for a high-end sashimi guy, that's for sure. I mean, we take care of them, it's just, yeah. Yeah, just sometimes it happens. Well, this one here, I'm going to give you $13 a pound. All right, All we'll right. take that. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, it's better than I thought it was going to be. We'll, we'll, we'll take it. It was, uh, it was a tough tough go for the first Thank one. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. We're going to get bigger. This is just the beginning. OK, let's see. 
let's catch tuna. What's that? It'd be nice to mock a few. <laughs> I'm fishing close to home today to save on expenses. But I've got a long way to go to make up for last year. Maybe I pushed my last mate too hard, but that's no excuse for him pushing me over. I took a hard look at myself and came out of the situation a changed man. All that's left for us now is just to break the ice. You ready for a Big Mac attack? I'm ready. Whatever you want to put on, that's what we'll put on. Mac. He's usually got a good vibe when he feels what bait he wants. That's the one. It took me a while. I followed him around, but. So when I take the hook. You going above this mine? Oh, yeah. Yeah, goodbye. Whoa. Strong, strong bait, you know? That's the one that's really going to do it. Last year, every time you picked the bait, it hooked up right away. Mac will make a lot of noise. A lot of vibration, a lot of noise. They could be out there by themselves and attract tuna. It's gonna go off. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure, and so getting the first fish to break the ice is a big deal. Been saying that for over 45 years. You gotta get that first one under your belt. Then you don't feel the pressure. There's something coming up. That's a fish. Is it? That's a tuna. Come on. That's a nice one. I would leave it right there, Lance. Leave it, leave it alone? He came right up to it. That's a big one. Coming back up. Come on. Come on. That's good. At least they're here. Right here. That's a tuna. He came right off the bottom. Looks like two of them. Here we go. Here we go. We're on. Big fish. We're on. Big fish. We're on. Go. Go. He's going, buddy. Feels like a keeper. Now he knows he's hooked. Now he's taking some line. Letting the anchor go. Icebreaker, hook up. <laughs> yeah, baby, wicked pisser. Coming for you. Coming for everybody in the fleet. Yeah. <laughs> slow all day long. It was slow. Stay on him. It's all right. We got to get to now. We waited him out. Going right for that anchor. You let me know if you feel it, OK? Let's go towards the anchor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Turn the boat, turn the boat. I got it. I see it. I'm right here. It's coming up quick. It's coming up quick. All right. It's going the other way now. Oh, so. it is? Yeah. That way? Yeah. And try to get him settled, you know? Yeah. He's crazy. Uh, Come on. Uh, oh, this could be a $10,000 fish, dude. By the grace of God, we get lucky. That's right. He's going to do the same thing. Same thing. We're going to go right back out again. See? Small circle now. That's what you need. That's how you know he's pinwheeling up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where is he? He's out there. He's out there. He's coming up. He's coming up. Oh, you oh, he's a jumbo. Here he is. Got him. Turn the rod. Turn the rod. Yeah, flick off. Hit the tail. I got him good. I'm like, oh, tail rope? Tail rope? Yep. It's all yours, we got yeah, it, Lance! Yeah. yeah, baby! You That's how it. we do it on the piss yeah. up. <laughs> we broke the ice. You know it, man. <laughs> That's how it's done right there, son. Textbook. We're on the board, baby. We're on the board. Pull him right in. One, One two, three. Go! Beautiful. Let's get a measurement on it. 93, dude. That's a good icebreaker, 93 inches. We'll take it, man. What a beauty. <laughs> good job, Lance. It's a team effort. End of, the, end of story. Oh, man, this just doesn't get any better. Who's the goat boat now, baby? <sighs> oh, whoa, whoa! You left that open? Oh, my god. I thought you knew I opened that. No, I was taking the block off. I got to get in here. Are you okay, Paul? Yeah. Oh. 
I just bumped my knee, that's all. Uh, you know, on the side, that was nothing. Could have been worse, could have snapped my knee in half. You learn every day. So yeah. sorry about that's that, That's all dude. right. Oh my God, old Paul would have been <laughs> flipping. <laughs> Everything's squashed. Good. Oh, sorry. No, you got me back. like that. You no, got me I didn't back. Mean it. No, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> One good deed deserves another. <laughs> That's it, brother. I'm Tunis in Fuego, man. What's up, fellas? We got him, brother. It's not a sea monster, but we'll take it, man. Happy to have him. All right, let's see what we got, boys. See what All we right. do for you. Let's All do right, it, brother. What we got, PJ? 266 pounds dressed. We'll take it, man. It's we'll a good it. start. It's an icebreaker, right? We're happy to have him, brother. Hopefully it's a good one, man. Let's check him out. Hot tuna on the board. Yeah, finally, right? Nice little fish, yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's an early season fish. It doesn't have much fat, but got a little bit in the minors all the way through in the majors here. It's a solid fish. These small fish have been flying out the door, you know? This fish here. $17 a pound. Oh, yeah. That's a great That's start, a start, man. Start. Great start. We'll, we'll take, take it. it. All right. Thank you. Thanks, TJ. See you. Take care. Thank you, bud. This is the year of the GOAT, and we are in it to win it. The competition will be fierce, so while this first fish of the season isn't a sea monster, there's no better feeling than getting that first one on board and getting in that bluefin groove. I couldn't be happier. Hot tuna, baby. Ba bow Wicked pisser back in action. Yeah. Baby. Woo! Hi, PJ. First one of the year? Way yeah. To start it. Let's check it out. Paul, see what Let's we got check here. Check them out. Hoist it up. Beautiful. This season will be extremely challenging with these restricted fishing days. So it's a huge relief to have our first fish under our belt. All right, what do you got for a weight on this one? Nice piece, Paul. 268 dressed. That's Sweet. a good one. Nice Let's work. check the meat nice out. Work. Let's see, see what we can get for you guys. Out. Well, it's a fish, but it's a skinny one. Yeah. That's all right. We've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think of this? So yeah, it's a nice color fish, guys. It just, it doesn't have any fat. You handled it well, which is very important. Beautiful core color. This one here, $15 a pound. Oh, God, dude, we'll take thank it. you. We'll take it. Thank we'll you. Not a bad start, right? No, That's man. good. It's a paycheck. All that money goes right in the pocket. Nice. Way Thank to go, you, boys. See you tomorrow. See Thanks, you soon. PJ. All right. Lance and I are so grateful we've got our first fish. We're up against the best of the best this season. And Marciano, Tyler, TJ, and Dave are already in the game. And it's only a matter of time before Bob and Jack get on board. This is step one on the road to redemption for the Wicked Pesa and to prove that we can be the greatest of all time. This season, Lance and I are coming with a wrecking ball. Coming for everybody. Beware. The battle for the title, greatest of all time, kicks off with hard merchandise, catching the first fish, and getting top dollar per pound, as Pinwheel scores the biggest bluefin and paycheck. Hot Tuna Wicked Pissa and FBTuna.com's catches put them on the board, while Fat Tuna and Time Flies have yet to land their first bluefin.